sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jackson taps this forward, Jack Sweep. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Throwing is Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he goes out right around the 39. Well, they kept it simple there, CD. Only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity. And that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And right now, we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. This goes out wide for Drake. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Play action. Now Jackson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Pats will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 45. They run with a fourth-year man. This is Damian Harris. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of three, second down. Well, this defense for the Ravens, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. In today's NFL, when you talk about goals for defenses and you think that maybe you'd like to hold them under 14 points or so, we think our offense can usually get 17 to 20, so that's a reasonable goal. But when you hold a team under 100 yards of total offense, you're going to win 99 times out of 100. And the one game you lose, you'll know who to blame. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Throwing Jones. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. It was Justin Houston, the native of Statesboro, Georgia, with a sack. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Well, we changed it. Now Jackson. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. On first down, Drake. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That's a very nice game there, a confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now on first down, Drake again. And some room to maneuver, and he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. Touchdown! Devin Duvernay. His second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. Tucker with the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate. As they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They run again with Harris. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. The Patriots at 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but yeah, talking with them in the days leading up to this one, doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. And certainly not the way you want to start when you're coming off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, oh, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter.
Now a run up the middle with Drake. He's got it to the 43 here. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving the guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. To throw on second and six, Jackson. He dumps it off to Drake. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Now it's Jackson. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert by Pruddy there on third and one. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him? and try and cover him before he gets going. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Patriots are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. On second and nine, Jones. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here. Two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning them into the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reaction to those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Jackson's throw here pulled in by Hilton, and he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. A great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Again, running right, Drake. And yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they're able to stop them short of a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter. 7-0 ball game. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Fielded just outside the goal line. They had taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start the drive with Harris. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little game. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. 
One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you... And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And They're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 39. Back to throw, Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Back to throw again. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 16. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Folks' kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Now maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least they have something to quote-unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure, because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. To the 43, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But from both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Drake will start the drive on the ground, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. 
It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there. Now they're looking at a third and 13. Jackson. And Diggs has it. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On second down, it's Drake. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. They go play action with Jackson. He's got the hook up with Diggs. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Up the middle they go with Drake. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball. In the and he is into the end zone for the Baltimore touchdown. Kenyon Drake. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Ravens have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 17-3. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because those faces can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Matt Judon, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll look to throw here. Got a man, it's 
caught at the six-yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. On first and goal, Drake. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. To throw is Jackson. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Here's Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Ravens are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball-hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard, but also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player, you have to know the situation. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. That certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. And if it does, then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can force that offense into more and more mistakes and give them a chance to get back into this one totally. Yeah, still a three-score hill to climb. We'll see if they can do it. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Here's Jones on first down. 
And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Justin Houston in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Operating from the gun, Jones. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and 19. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. Jackson now. Connecting with Kohler on the out route. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. First target, first catch at a first down. From the gun, it's Drake. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. 97 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Matt Judon able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll run here with Edwards. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Again, it'll be Edwards. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball a third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. And that'll be checked down to Drake. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. 
They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands. And now here is another interception. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Baltimore, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for New England, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers.